Fennel Sports Central, we go for a coachable game preview and prediction on the week one matchup between the Penn State Nittany Lions and the Wisconsin Badgers. Major Big Ten matchup coming up here in week one. We got Penn State on one side. This team was a bit of a disappointment in the 2020 season. I think we all can agree. Uh, but the team improved a lot over 2020. and They've got a lot of talent returning heading into the 2021 season. So there's definite reason to believe that Penn State could be once again a Big Ten contender in this 2021 season. And as for Wisconsin, Wisconsin, of course, with Graham Mertz, uh, they've got a lot of talent returning. Uh, they're a bit of an inexperienced team last season, but they've got a lot of experience coming into the 2021 season. So very intriguing matchup here. you got two teams that are definitely going to be Big Ten contenders in this 2021 season going down in week one. So it's going to be a very crucial matchup for both teams. So that means I'm going to go ahead and get started. This game will be on Saturday, September 4th, Madison, Wisconsin. So the Badgers will be the home team here. And Camp Randall is a tough place to play. So uh, Penn State definitely has a bit of a disadvantage there. Line currently says Wisconsin by four and a half, over unders at 50. And the ESPN FBI has got a 57% chance of Wisconsin winning it. So Badgers are favored in this matchup, but it is not by a huge margin. Uh, we see Wisconsin favored slightly in most areas here. Series history, Penn State leads at 10 to 9. So we've not seen these two teams play a whole lot, even though they're conference opponents. And we we have seen Penn State win the last four matchups. The last game was in 2018. So it's also been about three years since we've seen both these teams play each other. But uh, yeah, either way, should be a very uh, close matchup for sure. Possibly a defensive matchup as well. Here's your stat comparison for this matchup. These are your 2020 final stats as well. Penn State last year at 27 points per game, 25 points allowed. Uh, they had 256 pass yards a game, 174 rush yards. So overall, pretty heavy passing offense uh, was this Penn State team last season, but they also had a decent amount of rushing yards. And you saw 226 pa uh, yeah, pass yards allowed per game and 143 rush yards. As for Wisconsin, they had 24 points per game, 21 points allowed. Uh, they had 181 pass yards a game, 164 rush yards a game. And then defensively, this team was very good. Uh, with 208 pass yards allowed, then 136 rush yards allowed. So really, Wisconsin's defense last year was very talented. It was just the offensive side that had a few question marks. I mean, he didn't have Jonathan Taylor anymore, so the rushing core was a bit uh, was a bit inexperienced for sure. Uh, but you got Jalen Burger coming up. He's definitely a player to watch out for. But Graham Mertz also, I mean, you, don't, you didn't have Jack Cohn last season, which was kind of a disadvantage. I think Jack Cohn could have had a big season uh, if he was with Wisconsin last year. But either way, Still, Wisconsin was a pretty decent team last season, so there's no complaining there. But looking at your key points heading into this matchup, last season Penn State was 4-5, and five, so obviously this was a team that looked absolutely horrendous at the start of last season, and it was quite concerning. Uh, they were 0-5 in their first five games, and they looked like potentially the worst team in the Big Ten um, at a point last season. Uh, but they were 4-0 in their last four games, so they did win their last four, although they lost their first five. So there was definite improvement there out of Penn State. Uh, they did have a disappointing 2020 season, but once again had upside and they got a ton of talent coming into this 2021 season, notably Sean Clifford. Uh, he's going to be back for 2021 and he's he's got some experience now. So that's definitely something that he's got to his advantage. As for Wisconsin, there's a couple more question marks. I mean, you got Graham Mertz. I mean, he does have a year of Big Ten experience now, which is definitely going to help him. But Graham Mertz is still a quarterback that I'm not quite sold on yet. Uh, Jack Cohn, we did get to see him uh, have some high points for sure. But Graham Mertz, we have not seen that standout moment yet or that standout game out of him. So it'll be interesting to see if that happens this season. Uh, but overall, there's definite upside on this Wisconsin team. I think the ceiling for Wisconsin is quite high, even though the floor is also pretty low. Uh, but I could see Wisconsin definitely um, at the top of the Big Ten West next season once again. Uh, see, I definitely say that they're my favorite to win the division right now. Uh, but Minnesota could be a tough team to beat. I think it's either going to be Wisconsin or Minnesota. Those are the two teams that I think will be at the top of the Big Ten West this upcoming season. So that being said, let's go ahead and get into the prediction for this matchup, Penn State-Wisconsin. This is a huge Big Ten matchup in week one, and I've got Wisconsin getting a close win. It's going to be very close. 24-21 uh, to 21 is the final score. So I've got um, also the under in this matchup right now. I've got 45 uh, total points which is under uh, so I would expect the under in this matchup I mean I'm not going to be uh, telling you to go hard if you're going to be if, if you're, if you're going to be uh, betting on the under but 
I do think this game will be a bit of a tight one, low scoring uh, defensive matchup for sure. I mean, you got two decent offenses, but I think that the defenses prevail in this matchup and we see a lower scoring one, but Wisconsin gets the win 24 to 21. Uh, so we'll see Penn State keep it very close, but I think Wisconsin also having home field advantage here is definitely gonna help them. I mean, both teams skill-wise, I think heading into this season are extremely similar. Um, both teams are definitely gonna be Big Ten contenders. Uh, which is why this is going to be such an important matchup. But I think Wisconsin gets the win in a very close one. Probability Wisconsin 55%. So obviously, I am very cautious about picking Wisconsin here. And at halftime, it's going to be 10-7. to 7. So very defensive first half. And I think, in, I think in the end, we do see Wisconsin get the win. Once again, very low scoring defensive matchup. But anyway, I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments below on this matchup. I do appreciate you guys all watching. Should be a fun week one i mean this is as stacked of a week one as we've seen in quite a while i mean we got so many great matchups we got two major big 10 matchups i mean we got indiana and iowa as well so uh yeah it's gonna be a fun week one but anyway appreciate you guys all watching stay tuned for more from all sports central i'll see you guys later